Are you looking for effective ways to create microlearning that engages and develops your learner skills? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be discussing the best practices and techniques for creating video-based microlearning that will leave a lasting impact on your audience. We'll delve into the key principles of scripting, budgeting, and designing video content for microlearning. So whether you're an instructional designer or simply looking to create effective training content, this video is for you. Stay tuned to learn how to create compelling microlearning videos that will make your learners crave more. Microlearning is a popular training approach that delivers bite-sized chunks of information to learners. One effective way to deliver microlearning content is through video-based training. Video-based microlearning can engage learners and deliver information in a concise and impactful way. In this article, we'll explore best practices for instructional designers when creating video-based microlearning. Start with learning objectives. Identify the key takeaways. Before starting any video-based microlearning project, it's important to identify the learning objectives. What do you want learners to take away from the training? What specific skills or knowledge should they gain? Once you have identified the learning objectives, you can structure your microlearning video around them. This will help keep your video focused and on topic. Keep it short, focus on one topic. One of the key benefits of microlearning is that it delivers information in small focused chunks. When creating video-based microlearning, it's important to keep your video short and to focus on one topic. This will help learners retain information and make the training more effective. Use visuals to support the content. Video-based microlearning is a visual medium, so it's important to use visuals to support the content. This can include graphics, animations, and other visual aids. Visuals can help learners understand complex concepts and retain information. They can also make the training more engaging and interesting. Incorporate interactivity. Engage learners with interactive elements. Interactive elements can help engage learners and make the training more effective. This can include quizzes, polls, and other interactive elements. Interactive elements can help learners apply the information they have learned and reinforce key concepts. Script effectively. Plan and write a script. Scripting is an essential part of creating effective video-based microlearning. A good script can help keep your video focused, engaging, and on topic. When scripting your video, it's important to plan out the structure and content beforehand. You should also write in a conversational tone and keep your language simple and easy to understand. Choose the right video style, live action or animation. When creating video-based microlearning, you have two main options, live action or animation. Live action videos can be effective when you want to showcase real world scenarios or demonstrations. Animation can be effective when you want to simplify complex concepts or create engaging visuals. Choosing the right video style depends on your learning objectives and the content you want to deliver. Focus on accessibility. Ensure your video is accessible to all learners. When creating video-based microlearning, it's important to ensure that your video is accessible to all learners. 
This includes learners with disabilities, such as hearing or visual impairments. To ensure accessibility, you should provide closed captions or transcriptions for your video. This will help all learners access the content and make the training more effective. Video-based microlearning can be an effective way to deliver information to learners. By following these best practices for instructional designers, you can create engaging and impactful video-based microlearning that delivers real results. Remember to focus on learning objectives. Keep your videos short. Use visuals to support the content. Incorporate interactivity. Script effectively. Choose the right video style and ensure accessibility for all learners. By following these best practices, you can create effective video-based microlearning that engages learners and supports their skill development. If you want to continue learning about microlearning best practices, be sure to subscribe to our channel, The Microlearning Lab by Ninjatropic. We'll keep sharing the latest tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of your training programs.